the House. Thank you. I call Maureen Pugh. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. Again, uh, my pleasure too to stand in support of the Gore District Council's Otama Rural Water Supply Bill. Um, and in contrast to what my colleague um, Ian McKelvey has said about this being contentious, I, uh, I disagree with you, sir. Uh, I think this is a very non-contentious bill, and I think we're seeing that in the tone of the speeches here today, uh, where this is actually quite a common sense way of finding a solution to a problem that has existed for a long time, and that is about who actually does own the assets uh, that, are, um, that serve the, the water supply users. And uh, I guess, you know, when things happened back in the, in the 70s, and we're talking nearly 50 years ago that this particular scheme was set up, and it was built, uh, as uh, Liz Craig has said, it was built because of a combination of things, and in very typical rural style, they lumped together some local labour, some cash, uh, government subsidy, and a council loan, and together they pulled together the scheme. But back in those days, uh, we weren't probably as tight as we needed to be about who actually did own the assets. And here we are today. And I want to commend uh, Mark Patterson as well for sponsoring the bill. I think local bills are a much unused tool in the parliament. Um, and uh, for that reason, I'm encouraging uh, my local councils to pull together some local bills. And I uh, certainly look forward to cross-party support when they come into the House. Um, but it, uh, the Gore District Council has, um, has maintained and taken care of the day-to-day -day operations of this particular scheme, uh, but the, the scheme has actually been managed and the governance of it has been managed by the, the community group. And so um, when the time came to sort this all out, uh, my good friend uh, Mia Tracy Hicks and his councillors at the Gore District Council, um, they pulled together the process that was required to enable this local bill to be here today. And that did involve talking with the community. There was um, certainly the consultation that is required as a matter of um, compliance with the Local Government Act. But the reason that this one has had to come through for special legislation is, as we've heard today, that um, under sections 131 and 135 of the Local Government Act, uh, a council can divest its assets um, of, for a local scheme, a water scheme, uh, provided that they are less than 200 users. And of course, this scheme at uh, Otama Rural Water Supply is bigger than that. So this has required special legislation. And under section uh, 130 of the Local Government Act, um, they, uh, they um, must not, sorry, excuse me, um, under section 130 of the Act, the Council cannot divest its, um, its assets. So it must have special legislation to support that transfer back to the community. And I know that there are other ways that councils can um, sort these things out, and I was involved in a in a similar um, dilemma with um, having uh, nine uh, council water supplies in the Westland District, and they ranged from Haast up to Fox, Friends, there was uh, Harry Harry, Wadaroa, Ross, Hokitika, Kamara, Otera, uh, a couple of community schemes as well, Okarito. But the one that taxed us most was in Hannah's Clearing in South Westland, where uh, the water was particularly bad, and to get it to a um, suitable drinking water standard required a huge amount of treatment and chemicals. And the community didn't want that, and besides, it was extremely expensive. So the solution that we came up with that for, for that particular community was to actually close down the water supply it turned out to be cheaper for us to buy every one of the users a water tank and hook them up to a, a rainwater catchment system. And council funded that, and the users repaid the, the loan of the water tanks back to the council through their rates. And so that was a very casual and localised um, solution to a very, what could have been a very expensive problem. Um, I think one thing I would like to note about this uh, particular local bill is that it's not about the water, it's actually about the assets. And I just note when I was reading through the bill that it talks about the assets that will be, um, in the provisions of the bill, that will be divested back to the uh, community. And uh, it may just be terminology, but it doesn't actually include the words pipes. 
And I just wonder whether the gravity and pressure mains are substitutes for those words. But I do look forward to the bill being discussed, and I have pleasure in commending it to the House, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Kieran McAnulty. Madam Speaker, it is an absolute delight.